We all want to enjoy our vehicles. For some of us, that means spending time on a racetrack. For others, it's a day devoted to dirt and dust. For a handful of folks, however, there's an in-between car. And that's how you wind up here today in a car like this. This is Michello Classics 1978 SC Porsche 911, and it has been transformed into a safari beast. And that is good. Imagine having a car so revered by these air-cooled maniacs and then taking it and going, you know what, I want to get this one dirty and I want it to play in the mud and I want to figure out if I can jump it and do awesome things with it. That's what Michaelis has done and that is awesome. Out back is the original 3-liter engine that would have come with this car but they swapped in 964 heads. This is now a rev-happy, torque-happy delightful son of a bitch of a machine. The brakes are excellent. It's the original brake rotors, but with upgraded pads. The clutch feel is light and easy. There's no power steering. You feel everything in the road, yet low speed movements are, are no problem at all because Porsches are lightweight. Even with the addition of a roll cage and some off-road tires and wheels, this thing probably weighs under 2,400 pounds, and that is awesome. And it sings a glorious song through that custom single exit exhaust. Down here, next to my leg, I have a five-speed gearbox that is exposed and shifts well, and on top of it, it has a custom shift knob that looks like it's been plucked straight from a 917 race car. The Sparco steering wheel feels good in my hands, and you have that big, beautiful gauge telling you that you're not giving it enough revs. Now this, because it's a Safari 911, isn't wearing sticky tires, it's wearing off-road tires and that makes slow speed on-road stuff awesome because you can feel the car slide a little bit but it's comfortable this fully adjustable kw suspension which is currently set up for the street handles this canyon road awesomely it still feels like a 911 it hasn't lost any of that 911 isness that you would want out of a vehicle like this the engine is still out over the ass the steering still does all the great 911 things that it does the only part that's different is this one has more style than any 911 and it can go off-road. I repeat, it can go off-road. You can't say that with most other cars. So let's find some dirt, shall we? take your Porsche 911 and you go drive it off-road and it's a ridiculous concept but one that works so well on this car this car looks so good covered in dirt it, it's amazing that a car that is iconic for winning races and crushing it on the street also happens to be fun off-road and to look good doing so The gentleman sitting next to me is Matt from Michello's. This is his car, it's his shop, and this car is not for sale yet, but watch michellosclassics.com because it will be for sale soon. Though, Matt, I think you're probably going to be sad when you let this one go. I'm not going to be uh, too thrilled about it, but we'll see. This belt does, oh, perfecto. Look at that, clear space for the belt. Like it was, oh shit, now I gotta get the keys. <laughs> There's something amazing about having a Porsche where you can take a dirt turn off and not give a shit about it. In fact, you look for them, you wanna find more of them, and just get an old 911, filthy. The gentleman sitting next to me is Matt from Michello's. Let me try that again. I'm gonna blame the sickness because I'm because I can. Uh.